Hey guys, sorry for that cut. Um. Oh wait, we were over here. Um, sorry for that cut, but back to what I was saying. I don't like this model. I mean, they shortened it. They fattened it. They made it streamlined. I just don't really think it's aquatic. I mean, it fishes by rivers, but think about Baryonyx. Baryonyx doesn't swim in water, does it? It hooks fish out of the river, like a fishing pole. But they're saying Spinosaurus swim. I mean, it lived in freaking Africa. Africa, for front crying out loud. Oh my gosh. I just, why do you need an aquatic, an aquatic creature to live in a forest, a desert, or by a river? But it's got a big claw. Why do you need aquatic if you have a big claw like Baryonyx? Baryonyx and Sucaminus are both a lot like Spinosaurus, and they both are fish eaters, and they're all in the Spinosauric family. Like, I can literally search Spinosaurid family. Images. And this is what we get. We get Spinosaurus Irritator Sucomimus, Baryonyx, and two others I don't know. So we have literally Spinos Spinosaurus is the biggest one in the family. So why do you need it so big if two of, two of the smallest ones can fish without going in water? You really need, you really, really need, you, you just, why, why do you need an aquatic creature that can fish on the side of a river? I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings about this creature, I'm just saying why. Just someone please in the comments write why we need this amphibious creature. Like, I don't even know why it needs to be amphibious. I mean, do you really need an amphibious dinosaur? I mean, I know there's some people who like those water dinosaurs, but I'm saying, why do you need one? Oh my gosh. Just, let's look at the skeleton again. It's very, very streamlined, built, built, what uh, people say, for aquatic life. But think about this. What if Spinosaurus was going down a river, and then, then you've got a big, big flood coming. Spinosaurus' neck, Spinosaurus's neck would crack or pop out, whichever way the flood was coming so think about this and if scientists are watching this think about it would spinosaurus really need to be aquatic do you really need to be aquatic okay guys thanks for watching this video see you next time and bye, -bye.